It is my honor to announce that Betty Pearson has been elected vault overseer. I'm so honored. What a difference a day made. Thank you for coming, everyone. It is important to me, for us all, to see this place together. As a community, as a family, so that we can heal together and rebuild together. Is you. Find anything interesting? Great job cleaning up. The Raiders destroyed so much, but not our spirits. Hi, Mother. Oh. <laughs> you look fat. Uh, I know. You ready to go to dinner, Mrs. Ellis? Uh, I just need my purse and my black cardigan. All right, I'll get it. Are you all right? Oh. You overeat when you're depressed. I'm not depressed. I've just been not sleeping well lately and so fell off my exercise routine. Mm. So you're not depressed. You just bear all the hallmarks of depression. Uh, I missed you. <laughs> Is Larry coming? No, Mother. Larry and I are separated, remember? I just thought he might join us to see your brother. Uh, okay. Hey. Hey. What are you doing? Hey. Come on. Come on. Sell some water and lemon for blood. Or wear red. Morning, sleepyhead. It smells like old lady pants in here. Yes, I'm old. I wear pants. But you're no lady. Oh, so comfy. Upside of being blind, I've never seen you in Crocs. You mean my big rubber masturbating shoes? Yes, I know. Downside of being blind, I hear everything in this duplex. Oh, rub my legs, mama. Why would I rub your legs? Please, they hurt. I have growing pains. What in the... Why is your hand so tiny again? It's not my hand. Oh, Mary, mother of Joseph! That was nice for me. Okay, I know it's a bit confusing. It's not confusing at all. You did something racist. So now you need my black face to save your white ass. All they need is somebody to look the part. Buy yourself some clothes, shoes, a handbag. You going all pretty woman on me, eh? When it's all said and done, I ain't gonna f you. <laughs> Baby, it's crystal clear. I'm a necessity, so put you, you brought me in for one reason only. You can't afford to mess up a nine-figure deal with some tired-ass white boy ignorance. Remember, smile big, don't say a goddamn thing. You get what's going on, don't you? Yes! <laughs> Penny made the good come out of you. She made life come alive. Every year, a carnival would come to town and we'd ride the Ferris wheel. Day used to work the night shift, so around 11, me and Henny would sneak over to the Twin Pines. <laughs> Amos Milburn playing on the box. Down the road. <laughs> <laughs> me and Henny would swing out heavy. Swing it out heavy. <laughs> Two step across the floor. The sanctuary is a swimming pool. Everyone's leaving. Now, uh, no, not everyone, Ma. And we need to be here for the ones who are staying. I would like to see you find someone to take care of you. Whatever happened to that Emily girl? I liked her very much. I think she moved to Alberta to live on a commune. Maybe they need a rabbi in Alberta. Mom. What's she doing here? What's she doing here? I live here now with Dwight. So do we. I don't know why my son married you. You about as trustworthy as a snake in a hamster cage. I got my eye on you, sister. And don't touch any of this food. I know you're trying to poison me. 